right, thanks for joining us here in the final cut, our little sliver of the internet. I'm Mark the Movie Man, and we're going to play Stupid Games. Stupid Games is an independent horror film brought to us by uh, Nicholas Wendell and uh, Danny Abraham. And we have a story here of six folks who get together at an apartment for kind of a triple date. And as the night progresses, uh, they decide to play a board game. But little do most of them know that this board game is cursed. And there are some deadly consequences if you fail to meet the challenges that come up as you play the game and as they descend further and further and things get darker and darker they soon realize there is something else going on with this game and they try to figure out how they are going to survive the night and get out of the apartment before they die playing uh, stupid games. Uh, <laughs> I love the title. It's such an interesting title, and we've seen this type of story before. It's very familiar territory with the cursed game, though it's usually a Ouija board. So the fact they went all out with a board game, including having figures designed and everything, I love that. I love the attention to detail they did as far as the board gaming goes, a tabletop game. It felt like a real game, and uh, you needed that to help sell this idea. Most of it takes place in an apartment, uh, but they still make things visually interesting with the lighting and using candles and all of this. Uh, and so yeah, they keep that moving as well. And it, it feels like I think a bigger apartment than it really was. Uh, but I, again, appreciate that because it all takes place in one location. It could sometimes get kind of stale, but it doesn't here. What is also not stale is the performances by everyone. Uh, we've got Riley played by Cass uh, Huckabay. And yeah, she really is a character you're not probably going to like you feel tension with her she feels like she's got she's holding something she's got a conflict with one of the guys here uh you know and uh yeah i thought that uh, uh that conflict uh yeah you needed that it was unexpected usually you've got uh, two of the couples who have met before that are all oh hey you know uh moon eyed or whatnot but you don't have that here. A lot of other awkward situations between the rest of these characters. Rex, who is more of the, hey, what do we got to do to get these ladies into bed sort of character, played by Gage Robinson. <laughs> he played that very well. He really got into that role. And this is a guy who's just kind of vile. You're like, oh my God, he's not even really charming vile. He's just kind of vile. But And then you get Stanley, who is the, probably the uh, kindest of hearts out of anyone in the group played by Grant uh, Terzakis. I, his performance was great. He, he wasn't that goofy, even though he's supposed to be a little bit more of an innocent compared to the other two guys. They didn't play him off completely inept, uh, and I appreciate that. He felt a little bit more uh, authentic, a little more rounded than what you might expect in here. Uh, we've got Celeste uh, played uh, by Alyssa uh, Tortomasi, and she is definitely the bloody and uh, the bumble bubbly bloody <laughs> Freudian slip. The a bubbly, uh, energetic one of the three ladies, you know, the one who is also a little bit more promiscuous and a little bit more flirtatious. And yeah, so you've got these different aspects. And then there's Mia played by Ashwini, uh, Gan Poole. And uh, I thought uh, she was great in here. Uh, she was uh, as close as you could get to a counterpart for Stanley, uh, but also you could tell that there was something underneath the surface for her as well. So yeah, all three of these ladies and three guys together really have, uh, play off each other well and you need that. And there's some surprises, there's some creepy moments. There's a, uh, uh, do some things in the background as well to keep the scares going. And overall, I think Stupid Games is a, a fine uh, horror thriller about a cursed board game uh, with some decent performances, a high production value. Didn't quite care for the ending only because uh, I was hoping for something a little different. So uh, yeah, if you've seen Stupid Games, please let me know. Leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe, all that here. Bells and whistles. I thank you for your support. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.